Hi, my name is Dave Newman. I'm a 2012 StarChefs.com Rising Star. Welcome to my bar, Pint and Jigger. Uh, today we're going to be making a drink called a sous vide El Diablo. We'll be using the Bar Boss Advance from Vitamix. Let's go get a drink. The uh, drink I'm going to be making today for you is a twist on a classic cocktail called a El Diablo. This recipe is actually from a friend of mine named Dave Power. Uh, he's the owner of Feral Pig on Kauai. We're basically going to start out um, with our Vitamix Bar Boss Advance. Uh, we're going to make a ginger infused simple syrup. So I have a couple ounces of simple syrup. Pour that right in the container. And then we're going to add some chopped ginger. For the chopped ginger, you want to do about a cup. So you don't have to worry about cutting this up too finely. That's what the uh, bar boss is for. Just kind of measure those out to make sure we have about what we want. That looks good. Put that in the container. We want to go ahead and make sure our lid is fastened securely. Once we have the lid fastened securely, I uh, just want to go ahead and make sure this is set to the right program. Have the nice one touch control. Let the bar boss advance do its work. Just want to get the nice vortex going. Just going to blend that up nice and smooth so we don't have to strain it. And uh, she's ready to go. We have our ginger infused simple syrup. It's ready to go. Just going to put this into whatever container you want to use for the day. All right, once we have our ginger infused simple syrup, we're ready to go ahead and start creating our cocktail. Since we're actually going to be putting this in the sous vide machine, we're going to build our cocktail inside of a mason jar. Um, sous vide technique, uh, you want a sealed container. Uh, you're adding heat to it, so if you don't have a sealed container, you're going to lose that alcohol content. And that's the last thing we want to do. Um, the regular recipe for this um, is two ounces of tequila. We're using Herradura Silver. Um, I'm going to go ahead and multiply that out for the amount of cocktails in here. So we're just going to go ahead and give this a very, very healthy pour. This is going to be eight ounces. Uh, we have fresh squeezed lime juice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add that next. And for the one cocktail, you'd normally be using a half an ounce. So we're going to be doing four ounces. Our next ingredient is the Brio Tet. Uh, this is the creme de mire. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a half ounce for each cocktail. So once again, four ounces. Next, we have our ginger infused simple syrup. Uh, we'll do a half ounce of each for each one. All right, basically our cocktail is made. We need to create or make one more ingredient. Uh, this is the fun part. Don't do this at home. We're gonna be taking uh, Jack Daniels barrel chips uh, and we're gonna be adding a little bit of char to them. So we just wanna go ahead and spread these out on our char plate. Make sure you're using pieces that will actually fit in your jar. We'll be taking our butane torch and giving the barrel chips a nice little extra char. Um, this extra char is what's going to really add that wood flavor. It almost gives it a barrel aged quality. So you're just looking for a nice little bit of blackness on, on the wood chips. And we're going to add these to our sous vide cocktail mason jar. All right, once you have all of the Jack Daniels barrel chips in the jar, uh, we want to go ahead and put the lid on and make sure that's nice and tight. We're going to go ahead and put this in the sous vide machine for two days at 120 degrees. All right, we're just going to put this in the sous vide machine and take our one that I made a couple days ago. Uh, you hear that nice seal popping so you know that it was in there correctly. Of the sous vide Diablo. And we're just going to give this a quick stir. Music to my ears. Finish stirring that up. And we're going to pour this into a chilled cocktail glass. We affectionately call a cosmopolitan glass here in Hawaii. And we have the finished product, the sous vide El Diablo. Cheers.